Hello and um, welcome to my little late video on the Christmas puzzle, puzzle from TCHQ. It's um, posted on the 7th December and uh, consists of this first piece of a grid. And uh, as shown here in the text, there's a little instru uh, instruction on how to, to solve it. And, uh, Basically, we have a string of numbers, so 73117 here, that represents the amount of black boxes that we have to fill in. And um, after each of these inputs of, for example, let's say the 7, or as they do here, they have the 216, you need to fill in two black spots, 1 and 6, as they say and after each you will have to put at least one white square to separate the two and the one and the six so that means we have two black one white one black one white and six blacks the tricky part is though that we don't know where to put the white spots in here and it must be input in the way that you can fit in the blacks on the rows and the columns so, as they suggest here, you can print it and you can just start with a black pen and just fill in on on the go. So, instead of that, I'm just downloading this picture. You can do that here. Get a good, nice, high-resolution picture. And I've opened that one up in Paint. So, just uh, set up uh, one color and a uh, second color, because We'll be coloring and we'll also be marking off the, the white spots because after hitting in the black spots, or they will be green in my case here, we know that we must have at least one white after that, which is uh, ruling out the option of putting a black there. So we don't really know what this is at this point, but we can just start off by left to right, simply putting in, according to the rules, seven fill boxes and gray one out because we know that we need to have at least one white then I'll just put another three and a, a, a white one and then we have one white another one a white one and seven Or six, seven, and a white one. So th that leaves off one spot here, um, or potentially two. So I'm just doing this on the go here, and you'll see something which will be apparent just in a bit. So I'll go to the next line, just do the same. Just fill in. So that was two more there. Oops. Okay, and when the rest will be blank on this line. And here we have one, three dots, blank, one dot, blank. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't want to continue here because it's this is the rest of this is actually not important. You'll see. So just there, 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 and I think it was six. That's fine. Do another one here. Three more. And I think it was five here. Go on. Yeah. So that was the five over there. Okay, and go on. And the seven here. Okay. So, if we look just from left to right now, 
we filled in some stuff and we'll if we look from top and down it would be s the same seven then two blah 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 and one and again from top and down it would be one and now we see here is a, p a little pattern so there's a big gap here and there's another one so that leaves that one it's already set that one is already set so this must be a, a white one and then two whoops um white and two yeah so on so the next one you'll see here it says one that's that one because we filled in seven from the left and then it should have been a a, a gray one uh, sorry a white one here so we just adjust that one and then we have the three and the one so the three leaves a white after that one and then the one and a white one and three more and a white okay so we see that it starts to adjust itself up here and we'll just go on so it one white three white one it's fine it must be a gray one from top to bottom again so one yes that one and then we have a white and we have three we have a white we have one and must be gray we have one and gray yeah so starts to adjust in even more let's check the next one here it says one okay gray and the one and the gray okay take the next one so it's a seven here so something must have been off here as well because we need to have seven downwards as the first one so wherever the first one will start which which is here we would have to have seven down as well so seven a white one one which is already colored for us so we for sure know that this one has to be white and then we gray that one out okay um so for the next one it's a one the one so this might be right anyhow what we see here is a little box now with a box inside and um can try and check off the patterns with the check how the numbers are looking here so seven one 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 seven there seven one 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 seven so they start off in the same same way and the same with the next numbers they are also e equally the same from the row and from the column so this part mm, seems to be right and if we look on the other corners here uh, the, the lower corner we see the same sort of pattern so we have a seven one 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 seven so supposedly starting in the same manner down here we have the one one there same as we have up here one one a one one we have a one one there we have one one here we have the box here with one and three one mm, one three one and yeah it's a little scoot off up here it's not easy to see but it's one three one there and the first one is there also one three one so it seems to be similar corner up in the left than the bottom one here um starts to look a little bit like something we've seen before um so this 25 by 25 grid is a qr code so the next step for me would be to start a new sheet and uh, now that i know the corners are the same and uh, with the knowledge of it being a QR code I will just simply mark in the corners each of the corners so the top left one is a, a corner and the bottom left one will be a corner the top right one will also be a corner because we can see 
the pattern again up there being shown as starting off with 7 one, 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 and then ending with a 7 and a coloring in the, the first green boxes here and the green color will represent the ones that I know is going to be black later on after the first seven ones again I'll be marking off the space that we know by the instructions are to be white um, I'm coloring it gray and we can always change them later on to white and for each of the numbers that I type in that I'm, I'm done typing I'll be crossing them off with a pen so that I know for sure this is a, a number which is uh, completely typed in mm. So yeah, I'll just I'll just type these in and I'll fo fast forward the video and come back to further explain the QR concept. Okay, so that's fine. The corners are colored in, and um, I'll just Google up. QR code and there's a fine article on Wikipedia that explains the the further specifications of a QR code so if we go in and have a look here we see the, the three corners up there and uh, they must be there for the camera to uh, to detect that the QR code is there and also each QR code has some alignment some timing Yada yada yada, and then of course it has the data that uh, that we need to to s sort of decipher. So we just saw that the 25 by 25 is a version two of the QR code, and knowing that it's a version two enables us to to go in and have a further look on the specifications, and we can then see that. We need to, to draw in the timing and we also get a little bit of help about the alignment and uh, I'm just goofing around a little bit here and uh, I'll just fast forward and show you the alignment. Okay, so on Wikipedia we can see the alignment are the, the uh, lesser sized box and depending on which version you are, you're using then you'll see that they can be present in different places within the, the matrix and for version 2 we can see that um, there must be this, uh, sorry not alignment but timing it must be going from the top left corner to the bottom left corner and it follows the line here so it's quite easy to just color in those and if we check the numbers we can see that it says 7 which is the first uh, first part of the box and then space 1 space 1 space 1 space 1 until we get to the bottom part side of the box and uh, so we just colored this in and fits in perfectly with uh, uh, from top to down we still don't know which of the ones we are coloring from the row perspective, so from left to right. But we'll figure that out later on and then we'll be able to, to either extend on the row part or put in the gray spots. So, Because we see that, for example, the first one there has the one there. And um, we don't know whether or not this is the one or the four on the row. Anyway, I'll just color in that line because also the row line up here needs to have timing. So that's the one on that 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 row. Uh, oops. Yeah. So that's how it looks. And again, from top to down, it's difficult to say which we've been coloring. So we'll just leave it off and we'll we'll cross them off with the pen later on when we are for sure which uh, which which part of this that we've colored so here we are with the alignment um the alignment is the next little help that we can get and we know that we have a version 2 of this this box so we can actually see there in the, at the picture that in the bottom right corner it looks as if there is this little timing thing and 
it, it follows the line from the bottom left corner and in there, just as I'm showing. And, and this way we can easily color in that box. And it's boring to look at me coloring, so I'm just going to fast forward uh, again. So with me coloring at the speed of light, we come to a point where we can start to exclude a few of the numbers um, on the row with the new box that we just colored in. We see that fiver, uh, so I just cross that over on the left with a pen because on that, that specific row there could only be that one five. So that means we had to put a gray box on the left and on the right. Same thing as I just did here. There's only one, two, three, four, five there. So on each side of that, there would have to be a white box, and the white boxes here are gray. So I know now that from top to down as well, that there is colored in five, and there's already a pre-color one, which is six. So we have six from top to down, but there's no six, so there's a seven, uh, and that means there must be either on the top or on the bottom of that uh, that already colored six spots, we need to have another one. And so now the puzzle actually starts to begin and we have to exclude the possibilities um, individually. And for example there, it's it's already known that we have the first, uh, first black dot and so that number four from top to down in this column must be colored in the way it is and that leaves off a white spot in the bottom so now it also we see on the row there that it must be a 2 after this one because it wouldn't be possible to fit in 2 after the 10 without having to, to gray in here because we know that there must be a white one between the number 10 and number 2 alright so gray there and two dots there also this entire line can only be filled in um, in one way because the numbers add up as they do so this line you could actually fill this one in correctly even from the blank sheet just from left to right because there's only one way to do that um, anyhow the more that you do color in this way the easier it becomes to do the rest of, of the puzzle and from this point on I don't think there's any any point in me actually speaking so I'll just fast forward and you can see me color in and excluding gray out and all that so yeah good luck with your own puzzle and uh, I'll show you the solution at the end So here we are, after roughly one and a half hour of puzzling with this QR code. What you see now is a complete code. I'll just color this one black so that we are able to scan it. If you grab your smartphone, then download a QR code scanner. Uh, you can then scan this code and it will turn into a, a link, a, a website. If you follow the link, you get to GCHQ. Um, that would be the second part of the Christmas puzzle. So you see the link right here. It's uh, it's, it's not really really much of a secret, but uh, you get on to the next part here and it contains six questions where you need to answer each of them right, and each is considered as a puzzle in the same way that you need to to find some patterns and 
yeah uh, i'll give you good luck with that one and uh hope you enjoyed the video